a hot summer night on the Upper East Side. You live in Chelsea, though. I do. That's downtown. Uh huh. After several fish bowls of candied fruit juice and bottom shelf rum at Brother Jimmy's Bar, have you ever been there? I have. Two young, unattached, lusty 20 somethings head for a nearby apartment for some hurried foreplay and what will undoubtedly be sloppy and forgettable casual sex. Does, Sorry, Mom. <laughs> does Brett live up on the Upper East Side? Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay. But we've both lived all over the city. I see, okay. After a glass each of a newly opened bottle of Rosemont Shiraz, is that, I've never heard that before. What is that? Uh, it's a it's a kind of red wine. It's an Australian red wine. And 13 minutes of Chappelle's show. Uh -huh. I mean, on DVD? Or, uh -huh. Okay. They clumsily begin to fumble at each other's buttons, zippers, clasps, and laces while carefully crab walking, still conjoined at the face from the couch to the bed. Once there, in between boozy breaths and heavy petting, more reminiscent of the Three Stooges than of nine and a half weeks, the newcomer takes brief glances around the room. And while the owner of the apartment claws at the nightstand for a condom, a poster catches the other's eye, transfixing the visitor, now practically paralyzed with fear and confusion. The slapdash sex dance has begun, nevertheless, but mid-thrust, the guest simply cannot bear another moment. Quote, I can't do this. That thing scares, me, scares the S out of me. The owner of the bedroom looks up at the wall behind him, them, where a prized possession has been hung. The attractive stranger climbs off the bed and the bed's owner and begins to dress, leaving a panting, eager, and discreet participant alone on the bed, naked, mouth agape, mid coyotal Sorry, the departing stranger says, leaping toward the door. Quote, I can't get off under a poster of George W. Bush. Right. That was a wonderful reading. Is that, thank you very much. Yes.